Okay, I'm just looking at Ryan's waiting problems. Um, you can see when you move the arm, it's moving the head with it. Um, I I would probably find it easiest just to redo the head at this point. Um, so I'm going to isolate selected, right mouse click, paint skin weights tool. Um, I mean, that looks pretty good. It's probably mostly the jaw stuff that's the problem. Um, select vertices. What I might do is Select that and probably these and uh, let's put those a hundred percent to the jaw. So replace with a value of one flood. Um, let's put Um, these guys, let's go right here. well, let me, I'm just going to select to kind of inverse the selection, but I'll take out the neck one. So I'm going to put these 100% to the head. So flood those to the head, and then I'll put these 100% to the neck. Neck, flood, um, and then let's just uh, let's get the neck stuff, the head, and the jaw, and lock everything else. Right mouse click, lock inverse selection. Okay, and so we only have only the it can only pass weights around between these because everything else is locked. So that if I do some smoothing, um, it uh, won't accidentally pass the weights to the arm like it did before. So I'm just going to start with the neck, and I'll hit smooth and flood, 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 and the jaw, flood. That's probably enough for that. Um, you could try smoothing this from this side too. That's probably a good idea. Okay. All right, let's test that out. Um, so first of all, okay, it's not pulling there. Let's see if the head's moving properly. It seems to be. Where's the jaw control? Isn't there a jaw control here somewhere? Oh, it's just hidden inside there. Hmm. I might want to pull that out. Oh gosh, what? There we go. Um, just moving that forward here. Okay. Maybe it could be a little smaller. Anyway, so that's the jaw control. So we can see if that's ugh. that's pretty bad that jaw is way in the wrong position too we had too many uh, see this jaw should be the jaw rotates from kind of here um, it's sort of one big piece and then it rotates mostly rotates from about here um, and but I mean you can fake it there but I just the waiting is really bad so I think we just need a more careful selection so let's go back <sighs> yeah there's so just way too many verts selected here Um, all right, I'll just start over with that. Where's the mouth? 
stuff is a pain in the to select. Make sure symmetry's on. Um, I could probably do without these. Maybe that's okay. Oh, that's not good because it's like look that one and yeah, the geometry is a bit crazy here. Um, which makes it hard to select these. Yeah, and having that really flat inside of the mouth is not making things any easier. Yeah, and all these like overlapping vertices and stuff is not so great for trying to do this. Yeah, it's like if there's so many overlapping vertices here, it's really hard to tell what's what. Um. I think I got them. All right, well, let's go through that same process again we did a minute ago. Um, I will flood all of that to the jaw, place value of one flood. Okay, pretty much already is. Then I'll do a uh, kind of a uh, inverse selection, whoops, where I'll hold down shift and it'll deselect those and select all the other head ones and I'll put all those on the head. Okay, yeah, that's going to be better. And then I'll put all of these on the neck. And we still have all the other stuff locked, so I can go back into here and go to the jaw. Or maybe I'll start with the neck. Smooth flood flood. And go to the jaw. Flood. Hmm. Oh, why is that putting? You know, I might lock the jaw here because I don't really want um, the neck to lead into the head like it was though. Let's try that again. So that won't affect the jaw now. Um, but now I'll unlock the jaw and oh yeah that's better because it was putting some weird weights down on the neck there. Mm, that's probably too much just the one was fine. And that's already pretty smooth just from smoothing the other ones. All right hopefully that'll be better. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, without moving the jaw joint, that's about pretty good. All right, well, I'll save a version of this for you, and uh, yeah, see if that helps.